I want to point out that, yes, delaying Social Security can lengthen a portfolio's longevity. I'm going to have an example here of somebody who, a single who lives to 82, but the same lesson applies for a couple. Here we had someone who retires at 62, meaning stops work, starts benefits at 62, and this based on a detailed model we have this described in this journal financial planning article. Uh, we bring in marginal tax rates, we bring in the social taxation of Social Security, so a detailed model we've worked on for years. If she starts benefits at 62, how much could she live on each month for the rest of her life if she dies at 92, 30 years later? And it was a certain amount. We simply set it up so that uh, that 700,000 in the amount she lives on each year so that it runs out, uh, in this case, um, in 2039 when she turns six, uh, 92. If instead she waits till 70, so the first eight years she's going to take a lot of money from that financial portfolio, her 401k. It'll be down, as you can see, fairly after eight years. It's that's a lot lower than it would be if she starts Social Security at 62, because she's, you know, if you wait till 70, you're taking all the money those first eight years out of the financial portfolio. But after that, she's at 70. She's got 76 more percent more per month in Social Security benefits than she gets at 62. Because of that, she needs to take out a whole lot less. In this particular case here, her, the longevity of her portfolio was an extra six, point, uh, six plus years, a little bit more than six years. So yes, if you're going to live beyond you know, average life expectancy, beyond, much beyond age 80, by delaying, and it's okay, that means to do what? In those first eight years before she hits required minimum distributions and starts Social Security at 70, she's going to reduce her financial portfolio. And that's okay because she's going to get more Social Security benefits. And if you live into 92, the gross amount of Social Security benefits by waiting until 70 is larger. One of the other features that goes on is by waiting until 70, you'll probably have a smaller amount of your Social Security benefits taxed. The net result of all of that is the portfolio will last over six years longer. That's for somebody with a 700,000 portfolio. Many of your clients may have, let's say, a $500,000 portfolio. Think of retirement resources for this single is the financial portfolio plus Social Security. Well, the smaller the financial portfolio, the greater the additional longevity from taking what's now the bigger asset relative is, is Social Security. So somebody with 700000 you can add over six years. If we had the same example with somebody beginning with 500000 they can spend less each year, but you, the extended longevity would be over 10 years. Uh, you know, somebody with three millions, the extended longevity may be only a year or a year plus, but it's still extended longevity. So one of the reasons to delay benefits is because it can help that portfolio last longer. If you're worried about longevity risk, and also because you may be decreasing the Social Security benefits, taxation of Social Security benefits.